you know, like that mountain lion hunt, dude, I, that was the, one of the most physically demanding things I've ever done. Really? It so how did this come up. about? This is a mountain lion that was killing people's dogs? Yeah. Well, no, <laughs> that's the thing. It's not, there was, in that area, dogs get fucking killed by mountain lions all the time, mm. in Colorado in general. Like, it happens yeah. all the time. Like up in Boulder, they took a cat from they took a lion from Boulder and moved it out to like Netherland. You mm-hmm. lived up in Boulder, so you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, like the Netherland area. My dog got killed by a mountain lion. In Boulder. Right. I, yeah. Oh yeah, I heard this story. Yeah. So they moved this lion instead of like killing the lion, which is what they should have done. Because once it's used to eating that kind of food, it's not going back to chasing deer and shit. Mm-hmm. You know, it's gonna go take the easy meal and kill the little dogs. Right. Of course. Well, they took that lion and moved it out to Netherland. It killed 15 dogs in 30 days. Jeez. And then they had to kill it. So. You have to manage that population. But what happened was Alex is out. He's actually sitting out there right now. Alex called me and was like, hey, we got a fresh snow. You want to come up and you know, drive up here and, and hunt a lion? I said, yeah, let's go. Uh, so I grabbed my bow and drove up there you know, 4 in the morning. And we just started driving around trying to cut tracks with, with the hounds. Wow. So we're, you know, we're driving, driving. Just find a couple smaller tracks. And then we find this big track coming across the, across the road. And we're like, oh, that's a big fucking lion. Um, so we get out and look and check it out. And he had a fucking mule deer. Just he just killed this mule deer, like it was like steaming still, wow. under the tree. He had ripped it. You could see its guts all hanging out because it was eating it and shit. Dude, these fucking things are crazy. Yeah, this giant mule deer, four by four, full grown under this tree. And then we look and we see it going back and forth from this porch. So it's going from this guy's porch that we're to this to this kill going back and forth. And that's where it was denned up, was under that fucking porch. We didn't see oh it under my there. God. But you can see that that's where he was sleeping. Like, that's where he was fucking hanging out because it was easy killing for him, for him. He had dogs and fucking deer and wow. literally any whatever he wanted. Because it's pu- there's a lot of public uh, hiking trails that go right up through there. Oh. So And this is like a dude ranch, right? So and <laughs> we knocked on the door, and the guy didn't answer. So we were like, fuck. So we called a bunch of different uh, landowners around the area trying to, and neighbors and shit. And we, then we started hearing stories about, oh, yeah, last year this lion killed a dog. And uh, what, he's been har- – there's, there's one that's harassing my dogs now, this woman said. She's like, I won't come out of my house at night. She's like, because there's like three or four of them running around here. And there's like sheep herds and deer herds and elk herds all through there. So it's like prime lion country. But they have all the food they could want. But when you have one big alpha, he's going to – he literally like hoards all the food. And kills kittens. He'll kill kittens to, like, make sure he gets the food. So killing a big tom is what you want. That's what you want to go after. Big, full, mature tom. Because it's good for the the lion population. It's good for the deer population. It's good for just conservation in general. And in this case, it was good for the neighbors because he was being – he was living – imagine a 220-pound, eight-and-a-half-foot lion. Was it that big? Yeah. That's what you waited at? I wait. I gu- it was gutted. At, I had it gutted and cleaned, and it was 173. Cape and meat was 173. So I'm guessing with all his blood and, and meat in him and guts, it was probably 220. That's a, that's as big as they get, yeah. right? That sounds I mean, they, so, so big. And if, if you pull the picture. Look at I the mean, size of that picture. Holy shit. That cat is so big. Look at his fucking paws, dude. That was the first thing that I looked at was his paws and his head. I mean, I dude, it's 11 inches from thumb to, on my hand, it's 11 inches from uh, pinky to thumb. So when I put my hand up there and that thing fucking just like, it engulfed my hand. Wow. That thing's so he could fucking, fucking huge. He could kill you and drag you by your fucking neck out of there, no problem. Right up a tree. Whoop. Right up a fucking tree. You'd be. <laughs> wow. Look how big his head is. That's the biggest cat I've ever seen. I saw a big one in Utah uh, a year ago. It was pretty big. It was under a tree. And uh, we were about 30 yards away in a truck. And uh, my buddy Colton, who I was with, he, he spotted it. We hit the brakes. And, and you see these glowing eyes under this this tree because it was, like, getting dusk out. And uh, I had my binoculars on, so I'm, like, zooming in on it. It's big old fucking pumpkin head. But it wasn't that big. The one I saw looked like like 180. 180. Well, that's a, it's huge. Huge. Regardless. Enormous. Because the average, that's what the CPW told me, the average is like, you know, 140 to 160 yeah. is like that. That's what we normally see and then for a big mature like time. That. And then you get one like that that's in his prime. Like in his fucking prime. <sighs> eating it, dogs. Eating fucking dogs. It's only a matter of time before he eats a fucking person. Like, yeah. Right? That, yeah. So, so fast forward to us trying to get a hold of this guy that owns his land, right? Because there's a truck in the driveway, but, like, nobody, I didn't want to go up there and bang on his door at 6 right. in the morning, you know? Of like, course. fucking pow, pow, pow. You know, people that live back out there, they don't want to be fucking bothered. Right. You know, so 
So finally, we two hours go by of us calling people and hearing stories, this and that. And finally, we get this guy's fucking standing outside now. So we're like, fuck yeah. Now we can drive down. We keep driving to see if that – because there's, there's private and then there's public. So we didn't want to go on this private land without permission because it's just the way right. we fucking do things, right? Don't be a dick. And – so finally, he's out there standing, like, kind of waving at us. He's like, you guys see these fucking tracks around here? Like, because they went up onto his porch. The tracks go up under his porch, onto his porch, and then across his fucking, across his uh, backyard and up into the fucking mountains. Like, straight up a cliff. So we're like, fuck. And he was like, you guys lion hunting? And we're like, yeah. He's like, can you guys go get this one? And we're like, fuck yeah. We tried to get a hold of you for two hours. He's like, oh, was that you guys on the porch? He's like, I thought that was the lion. <laughs> <laughs> He thought a fucking, he's like, that motherfucker, he's like, there's a big fucking lion that keeps looking in my fucking windows at night. Oh, my God. Because I have little dogs and cats in there. Oh, my God. So this lion is, like, hunting him and his fucking animals, right? Like, and then this this woman, the woman next door that we talked to, she's like, yeah, there's, he's like, she's like, at night, I'll look out my window and there'll be a lion just staring into my fucking house. (sighs) A fucking lion. (laughs) I'm not talking about a fucking kitty cat. Like a meow cat, right? He's not fucking purring. He's trying to kill you and eat you. And he's huge. And they kill indiscriminately. Yeah. They'll just kill just to kill because they're cats and they're fucked up. Yeah. Cats are fucking weird and crazy. That's why they torture fucking mice and mm-hmm. don't eat them. They just yeah. torture them to death. Yeah. They're fucked up, man. It's a fucked up animal. I'm so, sure mountain lions probably don't do that because they have to survive a little bit more than regular cats do. But Well, wolves kill indiscriminately, too. Yeah, they do. Well, they, they just do it to practice. Yeah. They surplus kill. Yeah. And bury it. Well, lions will kill and bury their shit too yeah just like bears do predators just do that shit you know yeah because they it's like in their dna to store food and then instinctually to save it yeah so they have something to eat later in case it gets cold or something like they can